So, what exactly is an excavation or a trench? Well, an excavation is any man-made cut, cavity, trench, or depression in an earth surface that is formed by earth removal. So, a trench is a type of excavation, no more than 15 feet wide, which is measured at the bottom. And generally, the depth of a trench is greater than its width. This is a list of some of the more common hazards that result in workers being injured during trenching and excavation work. Some of them you may already know, like cave-ins. It's no wonder that being caught in a trench or excavation cave-in is one of the leading causes of fatal injuries in the construction industry. But what may surprise you is that most cave-in accidents occur in trenches between 5 and 15 feet deep, depths which are fairly common during residential construction. A cave-in occurs when the side wall of the excavation separates and falls into the excavation. This tends to happen without warning, sometimes within a few seconds, leaving no time for a worker to even respond. Hazardous atmospheres can also be deadly and occur in excavations when oxygen is displaced or hazardous gases such as hydrogen sulfide, methane, or carbon monoxide enter into and settle in the trench. These can cause poisoning or even asphyxiation and death. Materials or objects can fall into excavations and cause serious injuries if they strike a worker in the trench. Materials such as dirt or rocks removed from the excavation, which we call spoil, must be kept a minimum of two feet from the edge of the excavation. This also includes tools, pipes, equipment, and other objects that can fall or be knocked into an excavation. The weight of the excavation equipment alone can cause a trench to become unstable. Water that accumulates in excavations from, say, rain for instance, can weaken excavation walls and that can lead to unstable walls and cave or could even present drowning hazards to workers. Water must be directed away or controlled by pumps or other methods that are monitored by somebody who is competent in the proper use of the equipment. Workers must never be permitted to work in trenches where water has accumulated or is accumulating. Damage to underground utilities can expose workers to a lot of hazards. They can cause an electrocution if an underground electrical line is struck, they can cause an explosive atmosphere if a gas line is hit, or drowning if a water main burst flooding the trench. Prior to digging, excavators are required to contact the local utility owner to arrange to have all utilities in the area marked prior to digging. Getting utility lines marked is quick and easy. Just dial 811 anywhere in the USA. When you dial 811, your call is forwarded to the One Call Center in your area where your local utility company will dispatch a professional locating crew to mark the approximate location of your lines within a few days. Remember, it's the excavator's responsibility to have all underground utilities located and marked prior to digging with mechanized equipment. Now that we know what the most common hazards are, let's discuss how to avoid them and maintain a safe job site.